In this lesson, you will learn how to integrate your Maven Cucumber test project into the pipelines module of ALM Octane. This will also demonstrate how the test gag and test cases are injected into LM Octane if they do not exist. So let's go first into your Maven project to see if your test cases are running. Here I have a very simple and small Maven uh, Cucumber test project. I have a few finds which uh, have few scenarios. Some of them are automated, others are not. I just want to demonstrate that this is running. So I will just uh, run the test goal using Maven. And it should result um, in a test execution of two, three tests and um, others will not be automated and will be skipped as they are not uh, automated. Let's see. Here we can see the Maven Cucumber has started to compile. Now the test cases are identified. Now the test step definition is running. So it is executing basically the test cases in backend. You can see it. Chrome browser is opening. It will navigate to the to the application and then close it. Um, this will happen two more times for as a testing tool. Um, I am using UFT Developer. Um, together with Cucumber, um, but you can use any other testing tool which supports the same framework uh, of Cucumber uh, with Maven. Uh, this should work as well in the same configuration. So basically, I think that's it. The test cases uh, were executed. We can see here few are skipped, others are um, executed. So let's now take a look how I can bring this into a pipeline in Jenkins. Yeah? So let's go into my Jenkins environment. And here I will create now a new item. Let me log in quickly. So let's say this is Cucumber Maven test project. It's a freestyle project. I can edit here. So the first thing what I need to do is I need to add a build step for sure with invoking the Maven goals. Yeah, so let's say if here and the goal I will invoke is just test. And I need to reference here the pump file. So I can enter the pump file here. And now I need to add some post uh, build action. First of all, the post build action I need to as is the Cucumber test reporter of ALM Octane. And here, uh, this will look for the Octane Gherkin result.xml file. This will be used to identify the test cases. If I do not enter, it will look into my uh, Jenkins workspace exactly for this file. So I will not enter here anything. And I would need to publish the JUnit test results as well. So let's say here, there's just a XML file, um, which I will move later on. So this is uh, my pre-configuration. And now after the Maven goals have been executed, I just need to move two files. Let's say where are those? So this is Windows batch command I need to execute here. So the first file is exactly this Octane Gherkin, which is generated um, using the Cucumber framework in the Maven project. So I will move it to the workspace where my Jenkins slave is uh, running. And I need the JUnit file as well. And this is a JUnit which is also generated in my uh, Maven Cucumber test project. So once I've done it, I think I'm good. I can save it here. So now this job is created in 
the Jenkins and now I need to integrate this job within ALM Octane. So let's go and do this. In ALM Octane, we need to go to the pipelines module. And in the pipelines module, make sure your CI is registered. Um, you will find in the description um, the link how to do it. And once your CI is registered, you can see it here. And it will fetch basically all the jobs you have in your CI server. And I can see here Cucumber Maven test project. So I can just copy the name. I can also assign a release if I want milestones and also define what kind of pipeline this is. It's just a testing pipeline. So once completed, I can now save it. Before executing, it is uh, very important to tell ALM Octane how it should identify the Cucumber test in ALM Octane because this is this project is empty, so we don't have any Gherkin test. And as you may know, there are two possibilities to work with uh, BDD in ALM Octane. One is more test centric and the other one is more um, um, development centric. So where you really work uh, using the BDD methodology um, and identify those specifications, automate, automate the specification and scenarios. Um, so you have to tell Octane exactly which of the two configuration it should uh, use. Uh, so here you can directly see inject new BDD content as the Gherkin test, uh, so the one which is more focusing on testing, or as BDD specification. I will do it with Gherkin test, so the default uh, configuration. Um, if you want to change it, you can change it, then BDD spe specifications will be created out of it with all the scenarios. So you will have different objects in ALM Octane. Here I will just have one object per test, uh, including all the scenarios. Once you have done it, go back. And now we are ready to run the test. So let's execute it either from here or from Jenkins. Either way, Octane is going to track the change. So let's run it. So I can see it has started. Now let's go to Jenkins to see what's happening. I can see something is running. I can see the console output and also that test cases uh, are found and will be executed. So let's take a quick look on our environment. Here yeah, exactly. So here is the test execution of your cucumber test. So it will open the browser a few times and once this is completed, it should stop it. Test cases are completed. Let's see what Jenkins says. So Jenkins is able to identify the files and it has reported the results into Octane. So this is good news. Let's go to Octane and see if Octane received something. So now I can see also here it has been uh, completed. I just need to click on refresh. Now I can see here I have total test cases, which are four. Three are passed and one is skipped. So I can see it here. So I just need to get rid of one filter. So now I can see all the test cases which are uh, part of this pipeline. And as you can see, here is a GR, means Gherkin run. So these were uh, Gherkin test cases which were executed, which also reflects to the fact that we have also now the test cases imported. So let's see how the test case looks like. You go to relation on the Gherkin run. You can see here is a test which is from the automation status uh, automated. I can also 
now say what test type it is but i will not and here i can see that octane has created a tag which has been automatically generated this one was the one from before uh, this test case was uploaded so it was already in the file that's the reason why it was just attached on top so this is basically exactly the same uh, file which we had on our ide and the only thing which is added is the tag here and this tag is mainly used to identify the test cases in lm octane when they run again from jenkins so this is important don't remove it uh, otherwise um, it will create new test cases in octane so this is important and that's basically is um, an easy way to integrate the maven cucumber test project into the pipelines module of alm octane